Ladies and gents, welcome back to another video. In front of me here is a little package and inside of it is an iPhone 6 Plus. Now this specific model is supposed to be running iOS 8, which as most of you probably know, is the original version of iOS that the iPhone 6 Plus shipped with. So let's get it opened up, see what kind of condition it's in and find out if we have ourselves an iPhone 6 Plus that's never been updated. Okay, so of course this is our iPhone, but inside the box we did get this little note. It says the NFC scanner is not working. Color is silver, battery health is 100%. I find that a little bit hard to believe. 6 plus, 16 gigabyte. But here's what we're after, iOS 8.4.1. So apparently when they tested this, they did not update it. They left it on 8.4.1. We're going to find out if that's the case. And I'm noticing right away, it's probably not going to show up on camera, but the phone is actually a little bit bent. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to demonstrate that to you guys, but the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, especially the 6 Plus because it's larger, suffered an issue known as bend gate where the phone was so thin and the aluminum was not strong enough that just having it in your pocket could result in that phone actually bending a little bit. So I'm lining this up perfectly. Let me try to do it there on the back of the desk. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see the bend there, but it's very slight, but it is there. The device is in nice condition, no cracks on the display, and it looks to be pretty clean overall. Just a little bit of a ring there from a case. So enough talk, let's get this thing powered on and see if it has any battery or if we're gonna need to plug it in before we can test this iPhone. Looks like it's completely dead, which is not a great sign. Let me go ahead and connect this to power. And we'll see what happens here once we plugged it in right away. We got the battery icon, that's good. Is it gonna go away if we unplug it? And it is, so this battery is completely dead. I would be shocked if this thing actually has 100% battery health. So we're gonna let this sit here and charge for just a few minutes. Once it does, we'll get this thing turned on. All right, the iPhone's been on the charger for about an hour and it is finally turned on. You can see we do have the slide to set up, which is great news for us. We also have the A right there. I paused that so I could show you guys when the A has the little curl at the bottom of the tail, that means it's iOS 7 or 8. So that's a little trick here. Now we'll go back. Oh yeah, right there. The A, see how it's curly? That means it is 7 or 8. Of course, iPhone 6 Plus never came with iOS 7. So this has got to be iOS 8. Now the only thing standing between us and a fully functional iOS 8 iPhone is going to be an activation lock. So let's hope once we connect to the Wi-Fi here, we don't have any problems with that. So here we go, moment of truth. Is our iPhone gonna activate? And I think it did, that was actually really fast. Great news for us, no accounts here on this iPhone 6 Plus. Is Touch ID working? Yes it is. Listen to how loud the vibration motor is here on the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. I don't think that is normal. I think this one might be a little bit loose, but we're actually not gonna set that up because I don't wanna do a password. So let's get on to the home screen. Turn Siri on, yes, yes, yes. This was the dumbest little setup there. Okay, here we go, iOS 8, iPhone 6 Plus. No, we don't want iOS 12. In fact, I'm gonna check the App Store and then I'm gonna turn Wi-Fi off because I don't even want it to try to download. App Store appears to be working just fine. Looks actually pretty smooth on here. That's one thing I remember when I got the iPhone 6 Plus back when it launched is how smooth this device felt. iOS 12 is not smooth at all on this iPhone. Okay, here we go. Let's head into settings, general and about. We have ourselves iOS 8.4.1. Of course, that is what the seller said this iPhone had and that's what that little note had inside the box. 16 gig model. Carrier is AT&T. I don't think we have ourselves battery health. I believe that was introduced in iOS 9, but we can turn on battery percentage inside of settings there. So the iPhone 6 and of course the 6 Plus we have here launched in 2014 was a huge step for Apple. This iPhone was the replacement for the iPhone 5S, which looked very similar to this iPhone 5 here. But look at that difference in size. Up until this point, Apple had been making this. This was their flagship phone. This was as large as they got. 
and the 6 and 6 Plus really expanded that and Apple was able to catch up to the Android market with the larger phone size. Was the first iPhone here to feature a landscape home screen. So this has since kind of been taken away. If you have widgets on your home screen now, landscape will not work. But if you don't, you can still do landscape on a 6 Plus, 7 Plus, and the iPhone 8 Plus. Maybe even some of the newer models. I'm not 100% sure about that. But iOS 8, of course, launched here on the iPhone 6 Plus, and it is super smooth and fluid here on our 5.5 inch 1080p display, which was the highest resolution and the highest pixel density ever in an iPhone. Some other new things here for the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus were the ability to record 1080p 60 FPS video. So we'll go ahead and turn that on and then head into the camera application. And this device does take very nice photos. It is an eight megapixel lens, the last iPhone to have an eight megapixel lens. Switching over to the camera, you can see we got ourselves a lovely little 60 FPS logo down there. And in fact, I'm gonna start a video recording here and then we're gonna switch over to that iPhone and you guys will get a sense for how the quality looks here as well as how the audio sounds from the iPhone 6 Plus built-in microphone. And we'll take a quick peek down here. This is an iPhone 8 Plus, the younger sibling here for our 6 Plus. And of course, we do have ourselves an iPhone 5 here. Got a cracked display. Let's see if that's turned on. It's probably dead. But there you go. That's been a quick look here at the iPhone 6 Plus camera as well as the microphone. Now we'll switch back to our main device, of course, the iPhone 13 Pro, which has been the star of my channel. Goes unnoticed, but let's give a hand there for the iPhone 13 Pro Max that records all my videos. So what else is cool about the 8 Plus? Well, it was the first iPhone, going back to the camera, that had optical image stabilization. Only the 6 Plus got that. The 6 did not and the 6S did not, while the 6 Plus and the 6S Plus did. It wasn't until the iPhone 7 that Apple introduced that optical image stabilization for the standard regular sized iPhone. This iPhone, of course, does have a headphone jack there the second to last model to feature that. Of course, we've got lightning. I don't know why there's, it looks like marker or something inside the lightning port there. Got a single little dot there for our microphone as well as the speaker grill. We have, I believe a 1.2 megapixel front sensor there as well as the ambient light sensor. And of course our top microphone power button there on the side with the SIM slot down below it. The back is very simple and clean, all aluminum enclosure, no wireless charging on this device that was introduced in the iPhone 8. And we've got ourselves our volume up and volume down. This was redesigned compared to the iPhone 5 and 5S. We went from these little dot circles there to the elongated buttons, which are much easier to find when you're not looking at the device. Mute lock switch is there, of course, every iPhone up until the 15 Pro has had that. All right, real quick before we go, let's head into settings and check out those wallpapers. We don't get to see the iOS 8 wallpapers very often, but there are some pretty good ones. A lot of carryover from iOS 7. I think the default wallpaper here for the iPhone 6 Plus, well, it's probably the one that it's got right now. It's this one here. It's, it's a mountain of some sort, but I like some of the other ones. I like this right here, super clean, and it complements the white and silver iPhone very nicely. There you have it. That actually looks really nice. Probably one of my favorite vintage iOS wallpapers. So there you go. That's been a quick look at the iPhone 6 Plus running iOS 8.4.1 in 2024, almost 10 years since this iPhone launched. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I look forward to seeing you in another one of my videos.